one thing you never know about these old toasters is that one will burn it right away and the other one just takes a few more minutes to burn it. <laughs> I'm Maynard Jones and this is my wife Marlis and we collect toasters. This toaster is what got me started in collecting to uh, toasters. It's, uh, I went to an auction sale and they held it up, the auctioneer did, and he thought it was a toaster and I bought it for $18. Well, the Rochester Post Bulletin had an article in the paper telling how rare it was and it was worth $525. And it's one of the toasters that all collectors really like because you uh, bring it out, put the bread in there and let it go back. When that side's toasted, then you flip it around to the other side and then both sides work the same way. Oh, it didn't take me long to get serious. In our collection, we have a little over 1,100 different toasters. One time my wife was gone someplace in town anyway, I was going to make myself a sandwich and I thought I'd get the toaster out and have some toast. Well, she changed where it always was and I couldn't find it so I just forgot about it and I never even thought I had over a thousand toasters out in the toaster <laughs> shed so I didn't have toast. <laughs> This is the first American electric toaster, General Electric, 1909. And it was the first toaster device that done bread only. And on top of the early toasters, they had what you call toast racks. And if you made your toast, you set them up there to keep them warm while you made more toast. The first pop-up toaster was made in 1926 was made by a Minneapolis company called Waters Genter. We know the, uh, the son of, of Mr. Waters. He held this up and said, this sent me through college. Today, the pop-up is basic only toaster really made. So it's uh, not much fun collecting the newer ones. So that's why I cut off about 1950. When they first started uh, manufacturing toasters, the uh, General Electric 1909 was just wires and it was a percher. You just set your toast in a little basket and the uh, element heated it and then you had to turn it. Then they started making doors and so they called them floppers. This is the, the one of the first four place toasters. You uh, put the bread in there, one side's done, then you turn it to the other side. We do go all over the country looking for toasters. In fact, when we travel, we never stop to look at Mount Rushmore or things like that, but if it says antiques, we stop. We collect anything that has something to do with toast. After you got started, I seen how many different toasters there were made a long time ago. Why then I really got interested, and so I built a building. I'm a retired carpenter, and uh, I'd have to uh, do remodeling on houses, and I'd bring what we're supposed to throw away, so I'd bring it home, and I'd build uh, this building that we're sitting in now from uh, recycled lumber. We belong to the Toaster Collectors Association, and that's a group of people from all over the United States, Canada, and we even have some members from Germany. We learned about the group through a friend of ours, so we went to the first convention in 1998 and have been going ever since. From sunup till sundown we, at the convention, we talk about toasters. It's hard to find good toasters if I don't have it, I'll buy it, but then if I find one better, I'll get that one. That's why I have about 300 duplicates. So if anybody wants toasters, I have some. <laughs> I don't need toast. 